Hello everybody, this is your boy the Green Time coming from another video that's quite indeed important and this is what's going on around the NFL currently as we stand on the lookout for this um <clears throat> of this COVID nineteen situation. I feel I need to make up a video on this because for the simple fact is this is something that had to be spoken about and I'm quite sure some of the um, YouTubers have came away with that, but I don't think they did. Um, they only speaking about certain players that on, that's on the COVID-19 reserve list, but I'm not going to talk about players. I'm going to talk about the COVID-19 as a whole and for as the players concerned. Um, look here. Um, it's been going around the NFL for the past couple of weeks now. Um, there are a quite, there are quite a few players from, from several teams in the NFL. That that are that they currently have players under the COVID nineteen reserve protocols. Um, some of these guys, I'm not exactly sure where they're catching the virus from, but it seems to have skyrocketed. Um, uh, uh, um, event. We're not gonna say eventually, but it's been, it's been as of late, it has skyrocketed. And there's a new virus going out now that starts with an old. Um, I can't pronounce the name exactly what it is, but. It's supposed to be some type of virus that's, that came all the way from Africa and it made its way here to the U.S. Um, there had been a case of it um, somewhere in, I think, Texas. Might have been Texas, might have been Florida. I'm not exactly sure exactly what the it was, but all I know is it's here. And so with the COVID-19 virus still currently in the U.S. alone, it has skyrocketed very, very high. And I'm not exactly sure what the percentage is, but... It has to be somewhere between 85 to 90 percent, almost close to 100. And there are players, I mean, there are people out there still dying of this virus. Uh, even though we still, even though we do have the um, the shots that everybody has taken, um, some people have also taken the boost shots. I haven't taken mine yet, but at some point I will. I'm still doing research on it before I put anything else in my arm, you know what I'm saying? So until I get the research done, I'll probably get it. But right now, I'm, I'm going to put a halt on it for the time being until I get more research done on this booster shot. Um, I have taken my flu shot, that's for sure. I got the flu shot back in, back in this past September, which has been approximately four months ago. So um, I'm, I'm clear with the with the flu shot, and I'm also clear with the back-to-back um, -back shots from um, uh, 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 um P P Heiser, they get P Heiser. P I'm sorry, P Pfizer. P Pfizer. I got both my shots from P Pfizer, and I got the um the flu shot as well. And so um I'm clear as far as that concerned. But like I said, the booster shot I have not gotten yet. So until then, I'm not gonna get it. I gotta get. I gotta do more research before I put anything up my arm again. But anyway, enough of that. Like I said, the players now are being affected by this COVID-19 virus because there's so many of them out. There's so many people. So many players out currently. I don't think the Philadelphia Eagles have any, have any guys on the protocol, but I'm quite sure it's on its way. Um, I think the, well, I'm not going, I'm not going to speak on teams. I'm not going to speak on certain names because like, like I said, I don't want to go there because I already know YouTube is going to watch this video very care carefully and they might take the video off. So I'm, I'm praying and hope that they don't, but if they do, I understand because before anything is spoken on the COVID-19 virus, they, they will be sure that the facts are uh, the facts are accurate before anybody make a video on it or before any uh, meme on it or any type of video that they've done on the COVID-19 virus. So I'm only speaking on based on what I've heard, not what I've seen. And for the, and also for what I read on um, on NFL Network, um, ESPN, FS1, all these these news um, and all these news outlets and so, social media are saying that these players out on certain specific teams got the COVID nineteen virus and they on the protocol. And we all know that the protocol is is up to um, I think fifteen I think I think it's fifteen days I think the fourteen fifteen days and you have to pass the protocol within twenty four hours before you are able to get back on the field. So um, to the team that have these many they had these multiple players out, I'm not sure how much damage it's gonna do as far as them being on the field or play. I'm not exactly sure how they're going to work. But all I know is it's, it's, it's terrible. And like I said, uh, 
this is something that has to be done. The, the NFL is on their um they're on their P's and Q's about the virus because see now if you haven't taken your shots, it's a good chance you won't make the field. But um, but if you don't take the shots, like I said, it, it's your right. If you want the, the the virus, um, if you want the the shots in your arm or not, it's your it's, it's your right. You know, what I mean, you, you don't have to take the virus shots if you don't have to. But like I said, that's your call. But um, like I said, there's some teams out there in the NFL currently that has players out based on the COVID-19 virus. They call it, and so they're on COVID-19. They're on the NFL COVID-19 reserve protocol until they clear it within 24 hours or within the several days down the road uh, it's going to hurt some teams and they're going to require some players from the practice squad to come up or they might have to um, get players from other practice, from other team practice squad to be on their um, on their roster and where they can make a move up from the practice, on the practice squad to, to go up so you know tell them how it's going to work out but all I know is this is it's very very serious. Uh, I never had the virus before, and I pray to God, hope I don't get it. And then we got the new virus that's, that's, that's here in the United States now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that, that's, that's only been one case so far, and so the one case I'm, I'm assuming the one case is now under control. I hope that it is because see that virus that, they, that they're talking about is supposed to be more dangerous. The strand, the the, the virus strand, will be more dangerous. Than the COVID nineteen virus, so we also, um, it's crazy. We live in the world now where this virus has been in the U.S. It's been here in the U.S. for the past year now, and the way it's looking, it's gonna keep going and keep going and keep going until it finally gets under control. And so that's what I want to say. Um, we got, like I said, we got the NFL got players under the COVID nineteen reserve protocol. So I'm praying and hope that all the all the players on these different teams make it out the protocol and so so then get back on the field to play and start playing, and start winning games because see now it's getting cold and the NFL playoffs begin within begin within four weeks. Because it's only four games left in the season now. So if if they, if all these guys clear protocols, that'll be very good because see now the NFL can it can go, it can go back into motion again. And like I said, they're still doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? So, if the NFL keep doing what they're doing, keeping keeping the 19, putting the 19 virus under, under under control by keeping players away from from the practice facility, which is very good for the coaches, the other players, and the organization itself, and the fan base as well, because see, that virus can spread quite quickly. All it takes for you to be, I'm not gonna say how many minutes, because like I said, I I don't want to get my video taken off YouTube because of this. Um, I'm praying and hope that this doesn't get my video taken off because if it doesn't say if if I if I come back in the next day or two and, and, and my video is taken off then, then then I know that YouTube has strict policies about lies spoken on, on certain situations you know what I'm saying so it won't get me banned it will just take the video off and so I'm hoping that this video so does not get taken off YouTube. I hope, I hope all my YouTube subscribers out there who like my videos um, catch whip of, of it. If you see it, that's fine. If not, then I understand. Like I said, YouTube got their got their policies against against um, certain things like um, like uh, um, pornography, um, crimes, um, drugs, uh, 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 um, different type of things. YouTube has their policies, and the COVID nineteen policy is a strict one. So, I'm just hoping I'm, I'm just hoping hope I spoke the truth, because like I said, I don't want to put myself on blast. I don't want to put players on blast, and I don't want to put teams on blast. Because like I said, I, I saw it like I said, I saw it on NFL Network, I saw it on uh, ESPN, I saw it on FS1, and I saw it on social media too. So, that's one of the reasons why I hope that my video does not get taken off YouTube. I pray hope it doesn't. But if it does, I understand, and I can't get mad with them because they, like I said, they got they got strict policies against lies about certain situations like the COVID nineteen virus. So, without any further ado, put the notification bell on top. While I make a video coming direct from me to you, comment, like, share, subscribe. This is your boy, the Green Talent, coming to another video. 
about the COVID-19 virus and from what I've heard throughout, from what I've heard and read throughout the NFL. So, peace out, enjoy, one love, have a good week, have a good day.